Hi y'all, so we about to hop into this video by Vault. This is the criminal history of NBA young boys. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop straight into this video. NBA young boy is one of the most talented rappers in hip hop right now. The 19 year old Baton Rouge rapper has gained massive following online with almost- The, the who? Baton. Right now. The 19 year old Baton Rouge rapper has gained massive following online with almost every single song NBA Youngboy released getting tens <laughs> of millions of plays. What makes NBA ben Youngboy Rouge? unique is his ability to make a melodic type of song bouncy and catchy. You can listen to an NBA Youngboy song in just about any situation, but in my opinion, the thing that makes NBA Youngboy such an iconic artist is the emotional aspect of his songs. Even though a majority of his fans may not completely relate to Youngboy and the struggles he went through, he still has this ability to make a connection with his fans, with his music that a lot of other artists struggle to do. What exactly are these hard to relate struggles that NBA Youngboy tends to rap about in his music? Well, we have an idea that some of it may involve his past criminal experiences while growing up in Baton Rouge. So, you without said further it right ado, that time. here is an exclusive Baton. inside look at the criminal history of NBA Youngboy. I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> NBA Youngboy's first documented arrest happened on November 28th, 2016. According to authorities, NBA Youngboy was arrested by U.S. <clears throat> Marshals in Austin, Texas for two counts of attempted first-degree murder from a past incident that occurred on November 2nd, 2016 in Louisiana. Sources claim that Youngboy and another man allegedly got out of a car and opened His fire face looks a group so of fat people right there. on the 2000 block of Kentucky Street in South Baton Rouge. Shortly after being officially charged and booked, NBA Youngboy was extradited to another jurisdiction and was held on a $200,000 bond. After spending almost seven months behind bars, NBA Youngboy had a court hearing where he ended up confessing to firing a gun multiple times during the drive-by shooting that happened on the 2000 block of Kentucky Street on November 2nd, 2016. Moments after Youngboy's confession, the prosecutor offered a plea deal to him for a lesser charge in exchange for a guilty plea. The deal was that if NBA Youngboy pled guilty, the current charges would be reduced to one count of aggravated assault with a firearm rather than two counts of attempted second degree murder. After already confessing to his crimes, NBA Youngboy obviously took this generous plea deal. At the end of the hearing, Judge Bonnie Jackson granted Youngboy a post-conviction bond of $50,000, which allowed him to leave jail that day. Once home, NBA Youngboy recorded and released his song, Untouchable, which is one of his most popular songs to date. Several months later, NBA Youngboy was due back into court on August 22nd, 2017 for sentencing. At the beginning of sentencing, the judge gave NBA Youngboy an emotional lecture that lasted for quite some time, according to people present in the courtroom. After this lecture, the judge handed down a 10-year suspended prison term to NBA Youngboy, as well as three years of active supervised probation. While NBA Youngboy is most likely going to be heavily monitored for the next decade or so, he still came out with a W on this one. On top of all that, the judge also ordered Youngboy to perform 250 hours of community service, which includes an anti-violence public service announcement, as well as a $5,000 fine. At the end of sentencing, NBA Youngboy apologized for his crimes and said he had made a mistake and that he had learned from it. The last word said by the judge was, failure is not an option, to Youngboy as he was about to get up and leave the courtroom. For the next seven months, NBA Youngboy focused on furthering his music career and stayed out of trouble while doing so. But that came to an end on February 24th, 2018, after NBA Youngboy was arrested in Tallahassee, Florida before stepping on stage for his scheduled performance. Authorities claim that they arrested NBA Youngboy for allegedly committing acts of assault, kidnapping, and for a weapons violation. These charges stem from an alleged altercation with his girlfriend, Jania Jackson. According to hotel surveillance footage, NBA Youngboy and his girlfriend allegedly engaged in a heated tussle that included Youngboy throwing Jania Jackson down to the ground. After the surveillance footage surfaced online, Jackson went on to social media and addressed the charges against Youngboy and said, Kidnapped? F no. Has he ever put his hands on me? Fuck no. A few days later, NBA Youngboy was transferred to Ware County Jail in Georgia on multiple charges, oh. two of them being felonies for kidnapping and aggravated assault. On March 16th, 2018, NBA Youngboy was released from jail on a $75,000 bail and quickly took to social media to address these claims and said, that's just us, that's how we like to play. 
There were very few details on the outcome of this case, so the only information I can really give you guys is that the judge revoked his ability to travel out of state for the next nine of his 12 scheduled shows. NBA Youngboy's next arrest occurred on February 11, 2019 at the Hyatt House Hotel on Marietta Street in downtown Atlanta. Sources say that around 12.15 p.m., a hotel housekeeper was assigned to clean the room NBA Youngboy and a female friend, Star Thigpen, were staying in at the time. With the hotel room supposed to be empty, the housekeeper entered the room after knocking several times. After entering, NBA Youngboy told Star Thigpen to get the housekeeper out of the room, and according to police, Thigpen did so by assaulting the housekeeper by striking her in the face. This what? physical altercation continued into the hallway of the hotel before another employee of the Hyatt ran to the lobby to get help. Shortly after, Youngboy and Thigpen were both arrested, but with different charges. Oh, Young shit. Youngboy was booked with disorderly conduct with the use of fighting words, disorderly she looks conduct crazy with physical as hell. destruction of another, and possession of marijuana. Thigpen, on the other hand, was booked with disorderly conduct with acts of violence towards another, disorderly conduct with physical obstruction of another, and possession of marijuana. After being booked, they were released just moments later. But it wasn't until a month later that the Atlanta Police Department officially pressed charges on the two, with the final charges being two misdemeanors, which were possession of less than an ounce of marijuana and disorderly conduct. This case so basically, is she got them both NBA messed up. Boy does have an upcoming court date in the near future. NBA Youngboy's latest arrest happened on May 17th, 2019. Girl. According to multiple news outlets, NBA Youngboy and his entourage were leaving the Trump International Beach Resort in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida to perform at the Rolling Loud Festival in Miami. Reports say that around 1.30 p.m., gunfire erupted outside the hotel after NBA Youngboy's entourage and T Grizzly's entourage got into a heated argument. Both parties exchanged gunfire and a total of three people were hit during the commotion. One of those individuals was 43-year-old Muhammad Jurati, who is an innocent bystander who, sadly, passed away after getting caught in the crossfire. A five-year-old boy was also grazed by a bullet, but was able to be treated at the scene by paramedics. The last person hit was NBA Youngboy's girlfriend, Kaylin Long. Kaylin was apparently hit in the arm and was taken to a Ventura hospital in stable condition where she was treated and later released. Police detained and questioned four people during this incident, but all four were later released without any charges being filed. Florida has a stand your ground law, and since NBA Youngboy claimed that this was an assassination attempt against him, his team did nothing illegal by firing back at the other shooters. Despite being in a shootout just moments before, NBA Youngboy still made it in time to perform at Rolling Loud. <laughs> but just days later, a judge ordered NBA Youngboy to be arrested immediately, claiming that the shooting constituted a probation violation, despite the fact that Youngboy was the target and was not the one pulling what? the trigger. The judge requested that Youngboy remain behind bars for at least 30 days while they figure out what to do moving forward. This is a very scary situation for NBA Youngboy since the judge has been very lenient with him and even denied the prosecutor's request of revoking his probation after claiming Youngboy is a threat to society. It's pretty clear that the judge sees the good in NBA Youngboy, but it does seem like she's getting pretty fed up with his antics and has the ability to put him in jail for years. Whether or not she will is up to her, but hopefully it all plays out in Young Boy's favor. As of now, he's still behind bars, but he has a court hearing coming up in a few weeks. So I guess we'll find out the outcome of all this then. Well, there you have it. The entire criminal history of NBA Young Boy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. That's bogus as hell, like. You don't even have to, and I'm not even just talking about him, but like, you don't even have to have the gun. You could just be with somebody who has a gun and you don't even know that they have a gun. And then if y'all get pulled over and the cop sees that the gun is like anywhere near you, like you could get arrested or you could, be, you could get in trouble for that. But his situation, I don't see like, oh, that probation shit is crazy to me. Cause I've known some people who like been in situations like that, where it's like, they're not, it's not even their fault. But of course, because of their history, you know what I'm saying? This shit always comes back to them. But yeah, that's fucked up. But all right, y'all, that was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next reaction video. Bye.